Hi, so on the video that I did on the cheap and easy electrolyzer for the generation of hydrogen, I got some really interesting posts and interesting comments, and that I wanted to follow up on those posts and comments. One big issue with people was separation of the gases. So what I've got is this. You might see that it's a H-bridge cell, so it looks like a H, and here we've got uh, a bit of plastic joining these two cells, and now the anode and the cathode are separated. They're actually in separate containers. This is the negative, and obviously the hydrogen being positive will go to the negative, get its electron, and become hydrogen. So all of the hydrogen has been generated here. All of the other gases have been generated here. Now, I'm a real fan of urea electrolysis, so this is a urea electrolyte that I've got in here, so I'm getting nitrogen at this side. If you just put water and um, potassium hydroxide in there, what you're doing is splitting water, so what you'll get here is your oxygen but you're always going to get your hydrogen generated here. So this you could just vent to the atmosphere, it's either nitrogen or oxygen. Um, this one is the hydrogen that you're going to collect. So the gas separation is done for you by the design of the cell. Now obviously they are farther, further apart, and that's going to raise the resistance, so it takes a little bit more power to get the same volume of uh, hydrogen flowing through. And that's actually quite cool. Um, but that's a cost that you have to pay when you want to do something um, as part of it. You still have to pay that cost if you have mixed gases. You have to separate those gases if you want them separated. That's going to cost you energy. So here we've got them separated directly from the structure of the cell. Now, you might notice that the cell actually is no longer silver. You can no longer see the stainless steel. It's black. And the reason it's black is I want to offset that raised um, uh, resistance by giving it something else to improve the efficiency of it. Now, electrolysis like this is a surface area phenomenon. So if we can increase the surface area of this, we can actually improve the efficiency of it to offset the fact that we separated them out. Now, given this rolled up design, actually it's really easy to do that, what I've done is taken a piece of this. This is carbon felt. It's activated carbon felt. All I've done is take the stainless, the expanded stainless steel, pop it on the felt, roll it up, zip tie it together. That's all I had to do to get a massive surface area increase. So it's really easy to do that. Now you can't do that with plates where you're doing, doing a plate. It's very difficult to attach the carbon to it. Here, all we had to do is zip tie it to, together, so it's been a really easy way of improving the surface area of that so that we get um, a, a lot of gas generation. Uh, that's actually really cool. Um, so there are some simple solutions there to, create, uh, to improving the uh, efficiency of it by improving the surface area with the neutral additive, the carbon felt, and separating the gases out so that we get gas collection only on one side, which is going to be the gas that we want. Just to show you the construction of this, here is the H cell. What it is, is a couple of plastic pasta containers that I got at the local supermarket. I drilled a hole in them, and then I used this, which is uh, a little pot, and then put the pot into the hole that I drilled, saw one off, pot in there, and heat welded the lot together. So uh, these are just two pasta containers and two little pots heat welded together to make the H-bridge. That's all that is, so really easy to make. And a better view of the rolled up electrode. It's just the same um, stainless steel rolled up with a bit of carbon felt and held together with zip ties. So just so you get an idea of how it was made. Okay, so I clearly don't know when to stop. I think it's something of a problem. What I've done is taken two carbon rods, uh, put them in the same vessel, and um, wrapped some of that carbon felt around them to create this electrolyzer cell. Now, it should be obvious that interleaving these carbons would be far more efficient than two carbon rods. Putting them on stainless steel would also work. You could make them to any size, and you could do them in a square block arrangement. If I put a bit of power on that, We can see that hydrogen bubbling off on the negative there beautifully. So that's producing lots and lots of hydrogen, as you can see. And there's an even closer view. So there we go, a few ideas on how to actually improve these electrolyzers. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching.